Okay. Can tell if the music is loud or not. Okay. Hopefully it's not too loud. Hello, 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 everybody. It's been a few days once again. Oh man, the people who are watching me now feel those two, three days, but the ones who are watching in the future you don't really feel that. But yeah, it's been three days since I la last live streamed, and oh, those were very, very hectic days. Wow, I had so much to do because of college. Yeah. But I'm actually done with a lot of the stuff. I still have more more deadlines upcoming, but they're going to be the last ones for this semester. I still have one more which I missed, but because I was sick for 2 weeks, I have the permission to uh be late with the deadline like uh pass it over in a slightly later date so i'll probably fix it after stream like i already finished it mostly oh my god <laughs> it's the it's the one <laughs> with the angular god i hate angular so much i hate web development so much only masochists, masochists love the web development. It's so difficult. Like in the higher levels. Like it got to a point where I was just... For the first time, throughout the entire degree, I was feeling like an idiot. Because I, I had no idea what I'm writing, like what I'm doing. Just explains that the, that the teachers are not good. Like the lecturers are not good. And they aren't because there's so much that they don't explain anything like about. It's horrible. I don't know how TypeScript word works because last over the years they did not teach us JavaScript properly. And if you need if you're going to study Angular, you're supposed to know JavaScript pretty good. And since I'm not very, like, I'm not good at JavaScript, so an Angular is a very difficult language to learn, so. Yeah. Uh, let me just write. Okay. <coughs> no, not Fre. Fre. That. Four. Here. Minutes. Okay, so yeah. <clears throat> Free chat by that I mean like, you know, just yapping and talking. Uh, yeah. There's no one I can talk to, so, you know, always... It's a... Uh, I don't know. It may annoy some people, some people don't really care, I guess. But for me, I'm talking because it's just, you know, letting off ranting and stuff that I think that I can't tell anyone. At least that I know. I don't mind telling you because no one knows me and how I look and my identity, so that's fine. But yeah, I don't know. It took me 12 hours to get this deadline finished and I was missing this one piece of CSS which wasn't even included in the instructions and I had this 
drop down button of a profile that it's a drop down like you log in it's it's login you log in and then it be, it changes into a to drop down and the word login changes into profile so this drop down wasn't working for me and i wasn't didn't understand why and apparently i was missing in some <laughs> weird extremely weird css instructions that she didn't that the lecturer didn't put on she, she didn't pass so i was like sitting for like five six hours wasting my time trying to figure out why it's not working oh god i just gave up and i decided like that yeah that uh that i even looked compared my code to someone else's who finished and I just couldn't find anything wrong but I didn't think of checking the CSS because I didn't think it's something with the CSS because this drop down it's mostly in the it's mostly in, in HTML it's like TypeScript logic so I didn't expect it has something to do with CSS so yeah and well now that I know I so I just need to change something in CSS and I'll be able to mail the deadline the pro the project oh man but yeah I was super busy I had so much stuff I need to needed to cut up catch up with especially the final project for my graduation no oh, that's such a nightmare I really hope that, it, it, like, I'm pretty sure that's what happens. And it's like when I stream, don't stream for a couple of days, it kind of like, you know, ruins the momentum of people coming over. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't be talking. Yeah. Um, I don't know why. I don't understand. No, actually not. Forget about it. I, like I don't understand why one of my worst pieces in the past few days just suddenly got so many hundreds of views like why why my worst art got much better much more views over the for example the Nanami style study that I did which looks 10 times better like aren't people gonna be more attracted to see like wow he drew this in day 20 day 25 like nah i prefer the day 26 <laughs> my worse my much worse the, the the scuffed hair that i did with the guy and yeah i just didn't and i didn't still didn't have enough time to watch any tutorials on call of fury like you know what i did today I woke up at 4.30 I started working at 5 a.m. I, I finished work at 9 a.m. I went to college and then I was finished with college until 2 in the evening and then I got home I had to walk the dog, I ate something <coughs> and then I had to sit had a call with my uh, partner to the project and up until from 3 p.m. to 6 we were work we worked on the project like we're finishing up the proposal and then we're gonna be able to start the code itself which I can't wait to do and then at 6 p.m. I had I went to visit my family yeah like my like a diff like family like they some the, the like family you know like relatives that don't live with my parents obviously so i went to visit them and i just got back through with taxi i ju literally just got home got myself something to drink and i turned on the stream it's like you see like this is the kind of this is my this is the kind of this is my schedule like I don't have time to rest or even do anything so yeah 
hopefully tomorrow uh, yeah tomorrow for sure i'm going to, this time i promise like i can't even promise because i know what's going what's going to be tomorrow friday i'm gonna have time i'll be able to watch some tutorials on color theory and and shading especially shading and the uh, different color levels and different saturation and how to like you know make the drawing have more soul to it you know so finally that's that <coughs> uh, i wish i could stream every day you know like i really wish but i just can't control it like like i had this schedule that i set up for this week and i was supposed to stream on sunday monday tuesday eventually but eventually i, I ended up canceling changing the two sunday and monday i had to put off i couldn't do anything i couldn't stream because i had to do college stuff and eventually on tuesday i did i really planned to stream but it turned out that i even i had to cancel the stream for that for even tuesday as well so it's just i just can't control you know what's happening like this is why i don't like giving out schedules weekly schedules when i know that my that my schedules are very like they are very like partial how like half of it is like spontaneous like it's kind of planned ahead already like a no but there's always something that's popping up like, like there's always something that people need me somewhere and especially it's mostly from my family and i can't say no because you know it's family like i have to do i need to help and i can't control that so but finally today i could sit down like finally i have time to practice again and i really dislike it when when especially when i'm not able to practice for a few days in a row not not even for 10 minutes like productively <laughs> it, it's it's not gonna help me if i'm super exhausted and i just pick up my tablet and i start drawing and i'm not i'm not gonna learn anything when i'm super exhausted no one learns anything like that always draw always learn when you're you know ready when you're when you still have some energy left some focus left in you but yeah Ah. by the way i don't know i feel like i'm gonna give up I i'm not ready to quit smoking i don't know because it, like i'm ready for it i need it it's like so hardly like it's really strongly associated with unwinding and feeling relaxed it's it makes me it helps me get by every day when i don't have time for myself then smoking relaxes me for not being able to have time to myself that's why i am not i feel like i'm not ready to quit smoking yet just yet after i'm done with this degree and i'm gonna have a lot more time then I i'm gonna quit smoking which is in about of in a few months but for now i think i'm gonna continue because you know like there's no substitute to it and the only substitute to that is when i have free time to myself but right now right now i don't have any free time i don't consider s streaming free time because you know like this is like this i love doing that <laughs> but it still requires energy and you know some form of professionalism you know if if you get what i mean like i can't do whatever i want you know if you get me on stream like i have to be in some way or another entertaining and talk and be you know like active you know and as a highly introvert introverted person doing all that takes a lot of energy out of me so yeah, I don't really consider that resting. 
even if I play my most loved games that I love maybe maybe you know what in the future I might consider streaming as resting because I won't have to worry much about growth anymore and I'll be able to stream whatever I want and you know play my favorite games and be just and just chill you know drink some beers I can't wait for that but yeah I'm really upset that I couldn't practice in the past three days like it's I feel like I'm just taking many steps back when I don't practice like I feel like I'm forgetting which is very terrible Ah, which really sucks. I really don't like this feeling, you know. I think I'm streaming. Wow. What the heck? Someone came, just dropped by a like and... <laughs> wow, thank you. very nice of you wow like i have so many plans that i want to do for youtube i wish i had more time like i really wish i did maybe you know what i have an idea and i'm gonna need to put myself into test like see how much willing i am to get this time for youtube so i think i talked about it last stream where i'm considered as a highly intelligent person and i don't know how to study i have like i already explained like you know like i have good grades and i still have good grades even though i barely study to any of those finals and for, for throughout the entire degree while others like you know they have to like Bang their heads, like bang their hands, smash their heads against the wall, and like study really hard just to get those good grades. And I'm I never study. Like in the last exam, <coughs> I didn't do anything. I was I just crammed everything in the last second, and I I just don't know. I just understand whatever they he does the lecture. He can't. He can't. He, they come. They pass the information, and I just get get it all in i don't know like i just it just clicks in my mind really fast i don't know it's all about understanding in software engineering it's not about memorization so i don't know just it just clicks really fast i understand very fast so like whatever you know like my point is i'm gonna put myself i can put myself to the test how much am i willing to get more time to do youtube meaning I'm gonna need to actually start studying, actually put time, actually invest effort, actually put effort, actually like literally start putting effort into studying. Cause I already did it at the when in the first couple of years. And when I did it, I had so much time every deadline that i had like we have like a week for every deadline to do and we get a lot like there's a many topics we have to do like many courses so <laughs> i would literally finish this deadline within an hour within just one hour so <coughs> so yeah that's because i was yeah i think i'm just gonna i'm gonna try again put a lot of effort like for example tomorrow I mean I don't have yeah actually I have one deadline today I'm gonna mail the the one that I'm late with tomorrow I, I have a deadline for like a whole week but instead of putting it away up until the last second which is what i've been doing this last year which is why i wasn't having time because it was like procrastinating so i'm just gonna go back into putting a lot of uh 
a, a moderate amount of effort into finishing everything as fast as I can. You know, so, so I'll have after that, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm gonna have like a free mind. I'm not gonna be worried about anything. I'll just be able to have so much time to do other things like drawing and streaming and even work on my YouTube videos, which is what I need. I need this time. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm still coughing. And yeah, and yeah, I just want this time. So not only for myself, because I really want to stream more often and do and have a lot more time for YouTube videos, but also, you know, for you. I think people enjoy it a lot more when I when I'm able to stream every day, you know, and I think it's it really puts out. I think it really puts off like turns people away or turns them off when when they think I'm going to stream, but suddenly I change the schedule and I'm like, nah, I'm, str I'm not streaming today, you know, like they plan on watching me and then suddenly nah, nah, bro. There's nothing to watch, you know? So I really don't like this. Like when I end up doing this. <coughs> Maybe I could stream working on my deadlines. But I don't... F uh, I could stream that. Like I was thinking about streaming. Like today I was thinking about... Finishing up my doing the uh, angular first, the CSS part, and then start drawing, you know. I just know that some the people who have experience with uh, coding, they're going to be so cringed. <laughs> like, it's a cringe warning. I'm telling you in advance that I'm horrible at TypeScript, so don't expect me to be writing good code or anything good. It's horrible. I know for a fact. I don't even need to know TypeScript to know that the code is horrible. So yeah. But still, it's a deadline. I need to get it done. So I was thinking, but I eventually decided not to do it. Because, I don't know, like it doesn't feel proper. And it's also misleading because I have drawing in my title. Like, you see the title? So I'm like starting off with coding and people are gonna be like, you're gonna be like confused. Like what is, is he, why is he coding? Why is he not drawing? The title of the stream is drawing, you know? So yeah, I don't want to mislead people. <coughs> like I could change the, I could have changed the title, but it's really long and I want to keep it the way it, the title is right now i don't want to change it so if i'm gonna add angular to it it's only gonna make it even longer which is not good oh man i don't know i'm sorry for babbling i just love talking about so many things and being transparent you know especially when i have the opportunity to be transparent about my thoughts And it's, I think that's like the, the most unprofessional thing to talk about. But oh well, what can I do? I'm only human. I, I don't want you to see me as a professional, you know, YouTuber. I want you to see me as a friend, you know, like, like, like I said last stream, I want people to come for me, for my personality, for me as a person, as a VTuber. I'm not pu I'm not even putting any actually like you're still uh, you're not able to see my full true self because of people that I'm living with but as soon as I move out I think I'm gonna ch like the change is not gonna be noticeable it's not gonna be immediate but over a couple of weeks and months there's gonna be a huge difference from how I used to talk and laugh Hopefully I'm going to be able to get my laughing, laugh, laugh back, back. And like overall, like a lot of change, like you're going to see me much more open, much more goofy, much more funny, entertaining. 
more loud even louder even with, with of course with a much better mic obviously like that's gonna even like the mic is not even gonna happen in a couple of months <coughs> yeah and by then i'm not gonna be smoking either yeah i can't wait for that But yeah. Uh... Yeah, it's gonna be so fun. Oh man, I can't wait. I mean, I'll be able to interact with you. You know, and now I'm gonna be drinking beer. And just chatting with you, like this is gonna be the most fun thing. I just love talking to people. I don't know why. No, I'm not and I'm not talking about chit chat. I hate small talk. Talking about you know like conversations, you know, what you like, what what I like, like you know, common interests, like maybe joke around, ch share some memes, some memes in the chat, some emotes. I think better, t t better Twitch TV has emotes uh, they're working on, or there there is maybe already on YouTube. It's working on YouTube, at least it should. Or Seven TV, or Frank or Frank or Z, I don't know. Yeah, it's been it's fun. I think chatting with people is the most fun activity there is. Of course, it's exhausting, but it's still very fun, especially when I'm. <laughs> kind of drunk it's even more fun <laughs> and i think you're gonna love me when if you're gonna even love me even more when when you see me drunk like it's it's impossible because i'm i'm just i just become so dumb so goofy like i'm not promising yeah but yeah, when I get pretty drunk, I'm very, I become like the most, I, I'm still myself, but I become the extroverted of myself. Ah, yeah. But yeah, this is just fantasy talk. This is like daydreaming. This is like the, my ambitions. I can't wait to... Like providing you value, uh, inspiring you, inspiring you, entertaining you, like even, you know, giving you s any sort of value, whether it be it in, in entertainment or emotional or mental, this is like my dream. Like I want people to be happy, you know, when they watch me. Like, I want you to be happy when you watch me. This is the most important thing. <laughs> and I keep... And, and this is like an interesting fact about myself, but I can keep talking like this for so long. Like, even though there's like no one here right now, I'm like by myself. Just for... Just so you know, like last time I had an average of... of an average of five viewers and it was a peak of eight which was my highest of all time as a 90 subscribers <laughs> channel <laughs> oh man this is kind of funny you know this is actually a pretty good ratio if i could keep the same ratio that's like that's like more than 5%. So if I had 100k subscribers, 5,000 views, uh, viewers, like holy, that's insane ratio. I wish I could keep that. But yeah, like, you know, it's not only that, like I want also for us to go through the same journey. Which is what I'm thinking to do, like, you know, uh, 
I'm like I want to start learning Japanese on live stream. I'm gonna be doing everything, and people are gonna see, and they, and and like you're gonna see it, and you might even wanna join. You know, like do the same process that I'm doing. Except this time, since it's an actual language and there's like so many clear instructions about it and the tutorials on YouTube are actually good. I mean, I mean the tutorials on YouTube on language are like much better than drawing because... <laughs> yeah, it's more, it's less about how you put, how you structure, it's like when when do you structure structure the sentence like that and it's like less about how because the how is like quite obvious Ex i mean except in japanese because it's a different structure but yeah since i already have experience learning japanese i have even textbooks i have genki one and two i have my i have uh, I have yeah Genki one and two. There's even t t there's an amazing channel on YouTube. Like this is the best channel I've seen so far for beginners who are learning started just learning Japanese. Like this is such an amazing. Like his name is Tokini Andy. Wow, Tokini Space Andy. Wow, he's such an amazing teacher. So good. And what's even better, I just, he, he recently started, which no one does that. No one did it like this properly, like this good, in, in such a good way. He's literally showing you how to study the kanji, how to, to read them, when to read them, what's the most common way to read them, how to approach kanji, you know? Like most videos are about... Um just ways to learn and that's it like how did they learn memorize five kanji a day and just you know write them down a whole page and that's how mem they memorize it and then they like rip every time they uh, uh i don't know they just memorize it it's all about memorization but like he actually shows you how to approach kanji in a very good like amazing way like i can't wait to study start studying Japanese again and this time I know what I'm actually doing because first of all this is not my first time learning a language I learn I know how to learn a language especially a new one because <laughs> I know I know three languages Russian English and the other one which I'm not gonna say <coughs> like my native language and my four and the fourth one is going to be Japanese. Oh god. Yeah. Like you know, yeah, like I just want to provide not just this kind of value, I also want to provide a, a value in a way that's that's productive, which is, which means it other could be informative where you learn new things from just watching my stream because I, because I don't know I just like talking about a lot of topics and I like to think I don't know I like to think that I have an extensive knowledge in a lot of fields especially when it comes to astronomy like I know so much about it because I watch so much educational videos about it's and I'm, and I'm not talking about those videos where like they generally talk about um, um, that the earth is orbiting the sun and yada yada nah like I'm watching like uh, Like I, like I haven't watched in a few days now like recently I've been watching just those videos because I've just watched so many space videos wow I just love space I don't know
let's say like i think it's safe to say that i know more than the average person about space and about mm, uh, body anatomy and how health works the immune system like the bones and the muscles and what else, what other educational videos do i like to watch And that's it. When I watch chemistry videos, I don't really understand what they're doing there. Because they're showing formulas and they're saying this is... It's very soluble and we're gonna combine this with that using this formula. Like I have no idea what they're talking about. Because I have no idea how chemistry works. Oh yeah, so yeah, like I said, like, like informative, like I want to not only to provide value in, in a form that it's entertaining or, or emotional or mental, but also in a way that it's in, it could be informative or productive, like learning a language, learning how to animate live 2D studios. Why is it productive? Well, cause first of all, maybe you also want to learn that along along with me or like yourself and i'll be able to show you like my process and you could look what i'm doing and overall it's much easier to learn when there's something when with along with someone else like at the same space at the same pace and yeah it's gonna be fun so yeah and it's not and it's it could be something that you might you know maybe maybe you're gonna even pick up the pace like you just needed this one push and just and you're gonna start picking up the pace or and then you're gonna be an expert in japanese or in life 2d studio or even an, an, a, a pretty good decent illustrator in uh, drawing digitally and you'll be able to take commissions and there you go like this is extremely productive oh yeah yeah we're gonna have a good time ah uh... Yeah, this is my dream making some like having someone making someone feel good when they watch me like by by providing value as as a person like w that whatever i do makes you feel good well not good like makes you feel happy you know it like helps you in one way or another even if it's just a tiny bit like there was one moment where it helped you feel happy. That's more than enough. <coughs> okay. Okay, okay, let's get let's get started, shall we? It's about time. Okay, what are we going to draw today? Hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna look a reference. Sadly, I'm I'm sorry. I have that. I have to put you through this every single time. <clears throat> but. I'll do my best to find references before I start streaming. Oh yeah, also I'm starting to feel sick again because of the smoking, so I'm I'm on painkillers. Like no like this time I'm treating it. I'm treating it in advance because I already have the medicine, so I'm taking the medicine. Which is not painkiller, it just helps me get better, recover. 
And I'm taking a painkiller because the pain is unbearable. So yeah, I just take two painkillers a day, one in the morning, and it lasts lasts for about eight hours, and then I take another one about eight, nine hours after. And it helps me get through the rest of the day. And if I feel like the pain is still unbearable and I'm going to sleep, so yeah, I'm gonna need to take again. But if it's bearable enough, then I'm not gonna take it. And the body is gonna be recovering while I sleep. But not today, because tomorrow, tomorrow I have work. And now I'm going to stream for about two or three hours. And there's also a change in daylight savings today for me. So I think I'm just gonna draw one character and I'm gonna call it a day because since it's going to be summer I'm going to lose one hour of sleep so I can already like now it's 9.41 for me <clears throat> in the evening 9, 9.42 so technically it's 10.42 now but the I just need to think of it like that for now for now until I wake up tomorrow and then I don't have to worry about it anymore okay let me check for a quick reference uh, Quick, quick, quick. Oh, wait, no. Oh. I think I found one. Mm, maybe. I'm gonna save it in my references folder just in case and I'll keep looking okay so now I'm looking under manhwa art style this is what I put in the search bar uh... Damn, some of those eyes are creepy. Uh, I can't wait after day 30, I'll be able to actually go through the fundamentals properly. And also I'll be able to stream other things. Because right now I just want to um, finish the day 30. Especially when I didn't have any time to stream. Like, I was supposed... You know what's... I was supposed to to have day 30 this last Tuesday. Or this Tuesday. Last week's Tuesday or this... The, the recent one. But because of college, yeah. I'm gonna be a lot more comfortable with making a schedule when I know that there's no way that uh, this stream is gonna be cancelled. Unless something uh, urgent happens, which is rare. Okay. Damn, so many artists put... Why are there so many manhwa guys having their tongue out? Oh, 
Wow. <clears throat> I'm still, uh, you know what? I'm actually debating once again if I should have on my day 30 an upfront face or uh, the one that's three quarters side angle. You know what, I'm just gonna use what I got. The hair looks kind of weird. I'm like, you know, from the tutorials, the way they drew it. But whatever. I'm gonna show you the reference that I'm going to use. Now. I'm gonna pull it up. Let's see. Yeah, I see that 100. 100. References. I'm gonna put it up. I'm actually gonna open it in the Clip Studio. Although this one is actually the opposite of three quarters. This is like a quarter. No. Three quarters? Yeah, this is three quarters. Wait, what's the popular one? The three quarters? Does when they say that do they mean like the head is slightly tilted to the right? I think that's how it is. But this one is a quarter then. Because it's mostly tilted to the to the left actually. Okay, open. Uh, references. There you go. This is the reference that I'm going to use. Okay. Copy paste. Do not save. You just, no. Did you stay up? No, I did, I did learn fundamentals, but because I have only 30 days, I put myself a challenge for myself that I'm going to learn to draw in 30 days and I did learn the fundamentals but I did not learn ev everything I, I'm capable of drawing without references but you use references always to, to learn like it's not recommended not to use references when you draw yeah, I'm using the references to learn how to draw the hair. There is no, no one, no, there's not a good tutorial that, well, at least in my opinion, that teaches how to properly, the proper fundamentals of how to approach hair. So the way I'm learning is by using hair references, at least the hair that, that I like, and only this one and learn how to draw it from different angles 
So yeah, I do know fundamentals. I spent my first two, three weeks learning fundamentals. <laughs> and now, <laughs> the last week of my 30 days, I'm learning how to draw the hair and, and from an angle. I mean, actually, first two weeks was about fundamentals. And then the third week is hair. And the fourth one is doing all that, but from a side angle, because it's a whole different story. The hair, I'm talking about the hair, not the eyes and everything. And the style is also different all the time. Like, yeah. But of course, <coughs> I'm not uh, neglecting the fundamentals because I want to. It's just a challenge that I took upon myself that I'm going to learn to draw within 30 days. To show people that if you draw, not like me, but for t like every day. Especially every day, you're gonna progress <coughs> a lot. Like a whole lot. I haven't been drawing every day and I think that's pretty noticeable. But I'll be doing my best to draw every day. And every time I draw, I stream. So... Yeah. And I think I made <laughs> a lot of progress from not knowing how to even begin. How to, from not even knowing how to, how to begin drawing a face to now knowing how to draw a face I can draw the face, I can draw the hair, the neck May I could try drawing the... a suit without references like out of my mind like from what I learned so far just from drawing because at the end of the day it's not only about understanding the fundamentals, it's also about the muscle memory. So you need to remember, you need to practice a lot. Different, ty different types of art style. And this is how you get good. Because fundamentals can only take you so far. You need to develop your own art style. And that's by using references, which is what I'm doing. But, of course, after I finish day 30, I'm gonna go back to the fundamentals once again. Especially the... The top views, the... the like, I, like I could... Draw a character from the... Like, from a slightly higher angle. Or maybe I'm look... Or maybe he's looking down on me, like I could draw it... Like, I'm learning... I'm gonna learn those. After day 30. Because I'm gonna have a lot more time for my... For... To study. I'm not going to be limited by time. <coughs> and yeah, like I said, like I'm going to do my best to actually put start putting more effort into my college and and try to get as much time as I can for streaming and for learning how to draw. So I'll be able to make actual progress. But yeah, I think the hair is the toughest part to learn, in my opinion. How much time do you usually spend every day? <laughs> the thing is, there are some days that I simply can't, don't have time to draw. Such days exist, not even five minutes, especially at this tablet at home that I have it at home. It's on my computer, my personal PC.
there are just there are just some days that I don't have time to practice. And those days is those days those days are when I uh, when I just don't stream because every time I do draw I do stream. I suggest to simplify the hair. It's actually pretty pretty once you see the head in 3D. Pretty pretty I mean pretty easy. I think that's what you mean. You missed a word maybe. And maybe you actually mean that it's pretty. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Let me check if I can do something about the cough. Would be pretty easy once you see it in 3D. I mean, I do see the hair in. I'm I'm learning how to see it free in 3D. You can't like, I'm a beginner. No one sees the hair immediately in 3D. It's all about practice. <clears throat> hey, what's up, Jacobus? I'm doing fine. Thank you for asking. What about you? Like it's all about learning. I think everyone at the beginning struggled with the hair, even when they had the fundamentals. <coughs> it's all about practice. And I'm getting this practice. I'll do my best to get as much practice as I can, especially in fundamentals and, and the 3D stuff. And one day, I don't think I'm gonna learn that before day 100. After day 100, I'm actually, I'm gonna put even more time in fundamentals, like, like really invest in it a lot. And by fundamentals, I mean also like how the anatomy of a skull. So then I'll be capable of drawing the eyes like there is actual depth to it instead of like an illusion i'm gonna be putting so much uh, so much investment into actually understanding how to draw and i think a year from now wow I'll be able to produce something really decent if I keep up the best as as best as I can drawing every day whenever I can or more like drawing whenever I can when I have the opportunity I think in this space I'll be able to uh, improve really fast But yeah, let's not go too far, too far ahead. <laughs> the end of the day, I still haven't even, I still haven't even been drawing for like a whole month yet. <clears throat> so of course, and because of I was li I limited myself to 30 days learning how to draw a lot of things a lot, I like I skipped a lot of fundamentals because of the time cramp cramp time crunch then I'm pretty sure like I'm doing a lot of things not correct but that's going to be fixed later after day 30 Because otherwise, what can I show? What can I? What can I, I? I'm not gonna be able to showcase anything if the only thing I learn is how to draw boxes from all the angles and how to draw a basic face from all the angles, and that's it. I'm not gonna. That's not a. Sh that's. I'm not gonna be able to showcase anything like that. And like at the end of the day. It's, it's unlike, why am I doing this? 
one for myself because <laughs> when I saw PewDiePie's video of the 30 day challenge that he got himself into and it wasn't because he inspired me to learn art like recently lately I'm, I'm, I'm trying to improve myself as a person and what I'm trying to do is is to finish and be consi consistent with what I'm starting to like with my if I'm starting something new then I'm gonna do it I'm gonna be consistent with it and ever since up until like one year ago I always started something and I never finished it I started learning Japanese I quit in the middle I started learning that I stopped in the middle and I don't want that that to happen anymore so this is this is the reason why I started drawing mostly because I want to teach myself this self-discipline where no matter what I'm gonna keep drawing even if I feel like I'm not improving I'm like like I'm well, I still didn't get any feeling. I didn't feel like I want to give up and you know just stop drawing. But it's just like I have a mot I have this motivation. This I feel like I have this commitment, not just for myself, but also for you to show you and others who are going to watch this in the future that with commitment and consistency, if you actually try, chart try. try and and really put effort into it you can do it you can be you can do anything and in this case i chose art so by learning art in 30 days and staying consistent as much as i can i can show people that you can learn art within 30 days how to do art at least basic stuff i think what i draw what i learned to draw in 30 days is going to be i think this is quite good progress of course i don't have the good fundamentals but again that's subject to change it's not like i'm going to neglect neglect that uh, i'm great my country's basketball team <laughs> got a big win yeah so i'm in a very good mood hell yeah let's uh, let's open a beer let's drink some beer If you're actually op if you're actually going to drink a beer now, I don't mind going downstairs and getting myself a beer as well. Beer, you know, like cheers for celebration or your win. Congrats on the congratulations on the win. Hell yeah, man! Like I, w I just had this thought in my mind going like. If I was living alone, I'd be like very a lot more enth enthusiastic and being like, ah, I wish I could show you. I just don't feel like I don't want to disturb people and I don't want them to hear me either. I'd be like so much more enthusiastic and like, like, like I'm a f big fan girl, you know? But yeah, congratulations, dude. I'm happy. That's good to know. Uh, other than that, you know. Hopefully, if I hopefully it's gonna be even better. The optimal, the the optimal outcome is that if I actually put a lot of effort into trying to make as much time as i can for youtube then maybe i have like the optimal outcome is going to be like that i'm gonna have so much time that i'll be able to even start learning japanese in parallel to drawing i just love learning i love learning i don't know like i'm a sponge of knowledge knowledge you know how i got this lamborghini knowledge see all those books knowledge uh, merge down 90 subs already good job man 
<laughs> yeah. You know, I honestly, I'm gonna be honest with you. I did not, I did not expect to even to get to 50 subs because I'm not doing anything to grow. I'm just streaming and that's it. It's like, I mean, I mean, it shows that YouTube is a much better platform than Twitch. Why? Because you, you found my stream somehow. And that means that the discoverability here on YouTube is 1000 times fold better than the Twitch. So yeah, I mean, but still, I did not expect to to have. I was expecting, like you know, I was expecting always. Like I'm, I'm always like I have, you know, like I'm not even expecting anything. I'm like expecting like the worst outcome always. So I'm always prepared. So I was like expecting I'm gonna have like no one watching me for a good couple of months, no one to interact with, like no views at all on any of my live streams. It's weird. Like, it's weird in a good way. <laughs> 90 subs, yeah. I don't know how I got, like, I got some, I got some subscribers from my day 25. My last stream. Uh, no. No. Day 25, 20, 23, day 23 drawing, which looks pretty bad. 600 views on this live stream, like holy. That is way beyond, it like it just went, went over my head. I did not expect that at all. <laughs> It's, it's, uh, yeah, it's fantastic. No complaints. I'm glad. I'm glad to have you here. Fun. Um. So wait, are we getting? Uh, are we gonna drink a beer? We're gonna celebrate your your basketball team winning. Or you don't drink, or do you not drink beers? Man, I can't wait. Wow, I I just, God, I I really want to do a drinking like uh ch like a stream where I'm just drinking beers and just chilling, Bing Bing chilling. I just can't wait for that. This one is kind of Wait, this is... Hmm. But yeah, I got this right the way. I have this reference just for... Just for uh, for the hair. I, can, I think I can. I'm pretty confident in drawing everything else without clothes. I mean, I'm not gonna draw the suit unless unless the the drawing is gonna be so accurate that sure. Then I'll be. Then I'll draw the suit quickly. This one gonna be the box. Chad. Hmm. 
not let's do it yeah yeah why not you know let's be spontaneous just go with the flow okay so <coughs> then if you're actually serious then let me just brb i'm gonna get a beer So people will not be confused when they come stumble upon this stream. Getting a beer. Okay. Okay, so I'll be back in like a minute. Like I just need to grab it and I'll be back very quickly. So be our back. Okay, I'm back. See, it wasn't that... It didn't take that, mu that much time. Okay, so... Let me just del delete this. With my mouse. Okay. H5 Okay, now I just need to open the bottle and I'm gonna open it with scissors I'm practicing how to open the bottles with various objects because I want to, to know how to do that Instead of relying just on a bottle opener. Oh, you know what beer I got? It's not my beer of choice, but it's fine. I usually like to drink uh, Corona because it's very light and good and smooth. So yeah. Mm. What the heck? You know what I got? Gallsberg. Copenhagen, Denmark. Okay, I'm gonna open it with a, with this pair of scissors. Like that. From the bottom. Okay. Whoa. Damn. Let me put the scissors back. Yeah, do you have your beer? <coughs> uh, I think this one is kind of slightly up. Tell me when you're ready. There's like a few seconds delay in the stream, by the way. Oh, but it's a ca Oh, okay. Oh, cool. Damn. What a coincidence. Yeah, my family member likes to drink Corona and it's leftover from the last time they... 
visited us. So I just and it usually they they visit they visit like once every couple of like once a month or something. So yeah, they don't come here often. I'll just take the beer, and they don't mind either way. I mean, this is family. Okay, tell me when you're ready to drink. Like for the cheers. Yeah, cheers. Go. Oh. Damn, it's really cold too. Like in a good way. I love cold beer. It's very cold. Ah, <clears throat> oh, very good. Man, it's been a while since I drank some beer. Like a month or something. <laughs> Usually I drink more often. I'm just kind of broke, you know? And I'm saving money for the mic. like that <coughs> oh. there's a higher point wait here So this one is not good.
Uh, you undo a lot, yeah. That's what I get when I'm not drawing every day, literally. When I should be. Otherwise, I'd be a lot more confident in my lines. <clears throat> also because I want things to look a bit more accurate. I'm gonna need to look at YouTube. I'm gonna need to start looking at people who draw this kind of art style and see what kind of process, like fair process of drawing this. And that's gonna help me. Designs are fine. Yeah, but sometimes they're not always. They're kind of curvy, which I don't like. His eyes are here. Those goes kind of like that. I can't see what I'm drawing from the surf.
Okay, then here is kind of placed in a weird spot. Here. Here. This half. <clears throat> I want to draw something too, so I'm going to do it. Ah, oh, let's go. Draw together. Ah, oh, good beer. I haven't been drawing much lately. Yeah. <coughs> I think it should be just a hobby, you know? Draw whenever you feel like. I feel like his neck is too thick. I don't know, we'll see. And his eyes is here.
Okay. Big nose. I love drawing, you just sometimes get exhausted. Yeah, learning how to draw is, is hard and it's very exhausting. Without a doubt. I like how his eyebrow goes outside of his face into the air. Really doesn't make any sense. Man, you got. Uh, uh, I want a more. I want more beer. I almost finished with mine.
Do, 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 do. Okay. Uh, something in my eye. Damn, that's a pretty complicated year. I'm gonna lie. Gotta have energy to learn to draw. No freaking way. Um, I just did all that. Okay, well, at least I got a. Uh, I got something I can go over. Wait. Okay. Hmm. Uh. And it's much thinner here. Okay, pretty much everything done, just the yeah. hair. Now this hair is much, I hope it's much easier. So 
So it starts from here. And goes like that. Wait. Okay. God.
Yeah, those curves are like the hardest. Dude. Damn, beer gets me so sleepy. Oh, yeah. Man, I haven't drank a beer for so long. And I'm, I started my day today at 4.30. I'm approaching the... I mean, oh, wait. And I'm past the 18 hours awake part. So, yeah. A beer, a very cold beer, after 18 hours of no resting. Yeah, that's definitely gonna make me feel, not drunk, but just, you know, feel good, ill. I don't get sleepy. I only get sleepy if I'm super exhausted but I'm, I'm not exhausted yet this makes me want to get another beer Don't overwork yourself, man. It's okay, don't worry.
it's normal. I'm used to overworking myself because I always put all my effort in whatever I do. So you get used to it and it's no longer affecting you or me. When you when you grow up putting your a hundred percent in everything, I mean except for studying, then in whatever you do, then you get used to it. And it's just to me to people it may seem like it's overwork, but not to me. I'm just used to it. I mean I'm really it's a really good day if I'm if I feel exhausted. You know? Like I don't have any energy left at all. To do anything. Those are good days. Cause what cause this means that I'm gonna fall asleep in a few seconds. Usually it takes me a couple of minutes. Like I just <laughs> I just lay down and I just disconnect myself. <laughs> I like disconnected from the world immediately, like from being so tired. Uh, those are good. Those are the good days. Because I know I'm gonna fall asleep fast and I'm gonna sleep good. Wow, I really feel like take, having another beer. Pretty bad. So good. Like, I'm addicted to the feeling that it gives. Like, it's, it's so unwinding. Really relaxing. The feeling is so good. This one is pretty good. You know what I should do? I should be practicing doing those drawings a lot more often. This one. Just practice this line like that. Or maybe practice like that. Oh, this one is good. And then I can do. There you go. This looks pretty good. This is what I should be practicing. This is not practice. This is should be, this should be my routine every day for at least 20 30 minutes. And then I'll be able to make pretty good hair. Damn, I really feel like another beer. I mean, I have two more Carlsberg left from my relatives. They really don't care like if I drink like they're really good like it's family. You know like we all share what we drink and eat. Like it, let's say they bring something, let's say they come visit, they bring like two packs of beers and then they leave something here because they're like I don't know they're too drunk or too lazy like like they're leaving it here you know for us if we want to drink that so we can do it you know like that's how we do it or if we go there we bring them food of course we're gonna leave the food there we're not gonna take it back with us or if we uh, bring bring some drinks or whatever we're just gonna leave everything there you know for them the more the better the more the better they can enjoy you know free food free drinks That's how we... That's how it is. At least in my family.
Here, Len. And if you're gets if you're getting sleepy from the beer, then it means you had a good day, you know. Like you're you had a good day, you waste you you invested your energy pretty well. It even doesn't have to be that. Like you experienced something good, and it made me it it made me you feel very happy. And excited for like a couple of hours and just feeling like that for this long makes you very exhausted A very exhaustion but good day yeah that's good those are the best those days bro those days are the best you had a good day and then you have a beer and you feel tired and it's and it's just a tired in a good way like it's it's like a heavenly feeling wow those are the best days. Oh, I really love such days. Usually for me, such days happen when I don't have any worries. Like I don't have any deadlines. Even the project, like... Like, yeah, we're, tomorrow I'm going to finish the project proposal once and for all, hopefully. And I'm also gonna do the... Deadline, I'm gonna start putting effort, so I'm gonna finish, finish my last deadline and then I'm gonna have no worries and I'll be able to drink like, I, I mean, maybe, you know what, I might buy a, a pack of beers tomorrow and get drunk, because why not? You know, you gotta have fun sometimes and then I'm gonna feel really good Oh wait, tomorrow... Oh, I, how could I forget? Tomorrow is rest day. Oh. Well, but I actually wanna... F oh man. Tomorrow is rest day, meaning like I'm not gonna stream tomorrow. You know what? You know what? There's a good... Actually, I might... There's a, there's a good chance I'm gonna stream, but not a drawing. Maybe Pal World, maybe some some random game, maybe just chatting, you know, just having conversations. Oh man. You know, I used to be a basketball player because I'm pretty quite I'm like taller than the average person. You know what? I don't even mind giving you my height. I'm not a like I'm not super tall, you know, like the NBA players are or even like in National League players which are just a little bit uh uh lower than the nba teams like the international wait, wait what's the average height average height for men ah thank you for giving me giving me that in inches for men in centimeters 175 is the one one hundred and seventy-five <laughs> centimeters. <laughs> My height is one eighty-six, one eighty-seven, one hundred and eighty-seven centimeters, or one meter and eighty-seven point one meter point eighty-seven. Or I remember my height in feet, and that's six foot uh, six foot six foot one. Oops. Damn. Like it's six six point thirteen. I don't know, it's like not accurate. Yeah, six point thirteen. Six foot point one. 
like 6 to 13 yeah like 6, six foot 1 I don't know how tall that is considered but it's uh pretty tall it's not very tall but it's tall <laughs> you know the average man is 175 i'm like 11 centimeters higher and that's like yeah 11 centimeters that's a quite a that's quite a difference An eighty-seven or six foot. I don't know. I can show you. Six foot. One eighty-seven centimeters. I don't mind sharing my height. And there you go. I'm just gonna show you briefly. Goes in a few for you people who are gonna watch. This is my height. Your life. I'd say I'm. Um, uh, this is tall. This is considered tall. And I used to be a basketball player. I used to be a captain. You no. Know? I used to play I used to be a basketball. In competitions too. And I was the captain. And because like I really hated like as soon as they made me captain, I really hated. Started hating basketball. Because they were like relying on me so heavily. Because I was the tallest person in my team by f like by a lot, but like more than ten cent more than ten centimeters. Like I was playing with people who are like ten cent more than ten centimeters uh, lower than me. And so what 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 was happening is that I was always on the offensive and always on the defensive. Why? Because I'm the tallest person. Because I can stop them. I can jump and actually stop the ball if they try to if they try to throw it. So I was running like like God, like a like a dog, back and forth all the time. And I was just like like mid game. It wasn't even like 45. Like it wasn't like even 45 minutes. And I was like, br and I told my my coach. That if he's if he's not gonna take me out like substitute me, I'm just gonna sit down and not play anymore. Cause I, this is this was rough. This was tough. Running non-stop for 45 minutes back and forth, trying to trying to dunk myself, and then when they get the ball, they run really fast to to my quarter. And they try to to score, and I, and I have to stop that. The other players were only good for like trying to stop the passes between each player and that's it or try to pass me when i'm on the offensive like the, the the coach is stupid he put me on the offensive and on defensive because i was tall and i was fast <coughs> so yeah i was out of the game after 45 minutes and there were dudes who were even taller than me and god i felt like when i tried to go like try to score or try to go like fast enough like quick faster than them or try to push them a little bit like you know because there's like pushing is a bit allowed like not pushing intentionally with your hands but you just like you know you just tackle him it's not even a tackle it's like a soft touch i don't know how to like um explain this it's like 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 you try to go around him and it feels like it like you're trying to go over a wall like he wasn't moving every time i tried to like go over him or around him he just he just doesn't move no matter how hard i tried to even i tried even pushing him hard sometimes and he just wouldn't move and of course we lost that match because they had a few a lot of uh, tall players 
most of them were my height and some some were like even higher and they were like just like walls like jesus christ i couldn't pass them like it was so hard like when like when they try to stop you they put up like an arm or something to stop you from moving or i don't know like take the ball back and when they do that it <clears throat> it feels like a whole cylinder of of um of concrete just stopped you like that's how it felt like jesus i mean they also weight a lot more than me i'm i'm a very slender person like i'm slim i'm thin i mean i'm not slender i'm just thin and they were like big not big big like body work like workout wor like they work out but they had normal weight i'm underweight so like they were like kind of like heavier than me so that's it that makes things even worse oh man everyone in my family are very tall except my mom <laughs> yeah that's kind of the same case in my family except for two relatives my father is tall i'm, I'm actually f taller than my father even my foot are bigger than his <laughs> which is weird i mean i'd love to be 187 <laughs> yeah 187 is a pretty chill 187 is pretty chill My father is 196. Whoa, damn, pretty tall. My friend, my one of my best friends is one is close. I think he's around that. I think he's 190 or 191. But he's like he's like a bull. Holy, he's big. Like he like he's not working. Like he works out, but he's not a bodybuilder. But he's like he's big. <laughs> Like if if I was let's say if I had more weight on me on my bones more meat then I would look pretty quite scary too like I would be quite big too like he like he's like he's kind of a bit intimidating because it's like I don't know like I don't know like how to, how to even explain like he's he's athletic like and his muscle proportions are like built you know, like in a way that i don't know like he has really wide top body like the shoulders are wide and like he has the right wideness from the side like he's like the i don't know how to explain like like the way the proportions of his muscles like he's he's he has a healthy weight. I think he weighs around. I don't know. I don't know. Like he has he's a uh, just he has uh, just a little bit more weight than he should have because I mean he works out. He has body. He has muscle mass, and he looks ex like a bull. I intimidating. So, uh, my father is 183, so he's quite a bit tall. Oh, yeah. He's like 15 centimeters taller than you. 13. My uncle, his brother is 2, two meters. Yeah, he's just big. See? Oh, yeah. So, he's, what? Is he like. Damn, oh, damn, those genetics. Those are like the Viking gen genetics. <laughs> big bones you know like he's just big in general because of his like he has big bones big bones is tall so it means he has his the meat is like kind of thick even there's like even more meat surround because there's big bones so there's like supposed to be correct amount of meat protecting the bones like surrounding the bones so yeah it looks big like it looks like he's fat but he's not he's just big damn those people are scary <laughs> in a good way like it's a compliment that's what i mean like that's insane this is like insane physique
でうん OK The farmer does a lot of physical work and of course he loves to eat a lot. Yeah. Man, the Europeans. Oh man. The Europeans have such like the farmer life of a European is like I would say it's really simple life. It's not easy because you know they are farmers. But they eat well. They eat really well. They eat healthy meals because the wife cooks. You know, veggies, meat, and carbons. Carbons. Like, they have, like, the most healthy meals. So, of course, they're gonna grow really well. They're gonna grow big and, and strong. Especially when they have physical work. Like, this is, like, this is, like, the best combination. You know, sometimes I wished that I was a farmer because like, sure, I understand that it's really, it's quite difficult to work as a farmer, but at the same time, it's such a simple life. You have no worries other than just farming. And you, you're just working with nature, you know, you're growing whatever stock, animal stock you want. And it's just simple life. You have no worries. That's, this is like, a, this was a life that I w used to wish for myself sometimes. Especially during my hardest years. Oh no, it's challenging years at life. And those like...
Hmm. Yeah, this is need this needs to be much longer. Count? Nah. I'm a thin boy. I haven't worked out in many years. I look surprisingly young. Which is good. I'm not complaining. I'm actually loving it. I, f I don't know why, but yeah. Like, why are you look young? So this young. I mean, I'm not old. But people always mistake me for being al always much younger by, ma by many years. I mean, many years. You can take it as 20 or just a few years. I can add or maybe like this slim too i'm trying to put on some weight oh. good luck i can't put any weight i tried many times i 
I don't know. I guess it's just fast metabolism and genetics. Because my entire family is thin. Not like thin in an unhealthy way. They're just thin. They're, you know, like normal weight. I'm the only person in my family that's like underweight. But we are all like normal. It's very humble, I hope I can gain a, gain a few kg over time. Mm. I tried, when I tried, when I get my hardest, my biggest effort was when I was literally eating four meals a day, big meals. In addition to that, I was drinking get mass gainer and I was working out like not to, to like a workout that was like sup to, supposed to help me gain weight. So, and I didn't gain any weight. I gained one, one kilogram over half a year. So I just gave up. If it, if it takes me this much effort to just gain one kilogram, I'm better off, then I'm better off, uh, you know, just being thin. Just a little bit underweight. I don't mind that. At the end of the day, Ben looks good. I look good either way. It might be. people say I could probably put on weight if healthy and high and high in calories food wasn't expensive uh, I would put less I would try to consume less calories and more carbon you know eat spaghetti rice because that's the healthy weight and it's very easy to lose too But yeah, overall, it's uh, hard. It's hard to gain weight in my family. Like that's how it is. Then it goes like that.
I guess it's also because of my genetics. My father told me he used to be even skinnier when he was my age. He was quite, quite a bit taller. He only started gaining weight in the... Oh yeah. Oh yeah, people gain weight naturally when they get older. Because the metabolism get, uh, gets slowed down by a lot. Okay. Oh, I'm not even done yet. I've completely forgot. Why can't I do that consistently? A 
I like how it's look it looks like grass it still looks good If only I knew how to do this kind of shading of the color, shades of the different shades of color properly, would have been so much better. What the heck is this? Oh.
Okay, cool. Body. Nice. In just at least. I combine the layers. Then I don't need this part of the neck. Side of the Ooh. oh man, yeah. Now I'm starting to get tired, and I gotta wake up to do. I'm gonna wrap it up very soon. So I'm gonna just finish the eyes and I'll be done. Okay. Let's do the eyes quickly. You know what? This is actually pretty decent here. I don't feel like, I don't feel like I need to go over it again. I just don't have much time too, so it's gonna take time. So I'm just gonna be satisfied with what I have. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm just gonna do the eyes. Uh, where is body sketch? Lower. Body line out. Kinda like that. I'm just gonna use the reference because This one here, barely see. Let me go. I need to. Looks like that.
Maybe even closer. There you go. This one has this. Take this, body line out. There you go. Okay, now I can increase.
Oh man. Damn, not bad. It looks creepy. I don't know, the pupil on this side looks off. We're gonna try coloring you sometime? Yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm gonna take a tutorial on how to color. Watching some videos on how to color thing. Well, I mean, hopefully, it's gonna help me. But yeah. Yeah, now the pain of the uh, the viral infection is starting to set in again, and I have three hours left to l a bit more than three hours left to sleep in some in daylight savings, and I gotta 
the clock is clock is gonna go one hour ahead forward so yeah i think uh it's pretty good i think he's a little bit on the thick side here maybe i can fix that There we go. Now it looks a little bit better. Yeah, I think I did a pretty horrible job, but hey, I really hope that I'm improving when I'm drawing like this. When I'm using reference like that, I really hope. I mean, the jaw is actually not so... Could have a better. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Fine. Maybe it's somewhere around here that it's kind of strong. I don't know. I'll just uh, leave it like that. Uh, hi. Your live just got recommended to me. It's so cool that you picked up drawing. Hello, Millie Z. I'll be going now till tomorrow or whenever the stream, the next stream is going to be. Good night. Good night, Jakubas. Thank you for dropping by. Thank you, thank you. Hope to see you next time in my next live stream too. It's awesome how many how many people Pewds inspired. Yeah, but he inspired me not because I wanted to learn art. Unlike many people, he inspired me because others like it was a very huge coincidence for me that he is is trying to work on a on a thing like on a like on his personality where he starts doing something and he stays consistent with it instead of quitting and this is exactly what i'm trying to do here and by chance i picked up drawing i'm i started drawing because i'm a lot more attracted to the to the mindset of improvement and consistency and by coincidence, it was like drawing too. So yeah. Otherwise, it would have been like um, would have been Japanese or learning how to rig in Life 2D Studio. So yeah, but yeah, it did inspire me in this way, not in not in an artistic way. <laughs> I mean, it was very cool, you know? It's really, really cool to see someone who stays committed to what I, what they started learning. Because it's very easy, and that's what usually happens. People just quit midway, but he didn't. And that's what really attracted, like, my attention. The the commitment and the, and the consistency aspect of the video and which is what I'm also trying to work on myself in myself as a person so yeah <laughs> I decided to draw as well see how much I could improve and hopefully I'll be able to produce a decent character illustration by day 100 as well just to see and yeah I do think that I have pretty good improvement I mean 
unlike day one i think this is pretty good same <coughs> i'm really happy you know like I, i'm not even I'd say that I'm even having easier time than most people because I don't really have any expectations. Like I'm not paying a pay attention to, you know, uh, to like my progress. Like I'm trying to not pay attention to it and just draw. And I only, and I only pay attention to it like once every couple of weeks. Or if I produce like a really good piece that I really liked. <laughs> For example, this one, it's pretty good. You know, raising references. It's always good. <laughs> like I, I could say like, I'm, I don't feel like I'm learning anything, but I'm pretty sure. A lo I'm, well, I mean, I am learning. It, it is helping me learn how to draw the hair from this angle so if i'm ever gonna try in the future to draw without any reference i think i'll be able to do it not as good as this but still it's better than nothing like you know like it's amazing like i draw when i when i start learning something i'm in a full mindset of learning i'm not gonna compare myself to others i'm, I'm not gonna compare my progress to others especially that or how others draw you know how much time it took them you know i don't care about that i just want to stay committed motivated and consistent with what i do and this in itself i'm gonna be happy if i'm gonna be capable of doing that this is what i'm most focused on and of course you know proper learning properly what i'm doing Everyone has a different journey. Yes. <coughs> Definitely. But you know, it's really great. Like I, I, I like it's really fun to inspire people. Like you, they see, for example, if people see my progress, like if you're going to go to day one, nothing. I knew nothing how to draw. I didn't have any nothing, no fundamentals, nothing. And this is where I'm at now. <coughs> I think this is pretty good. I'm pretty happy, you know? Every piece that I draw, I'm happy with it. Sure, some pieces are much uglier, but I only say it as a joke. Like, sure, it's uglier, you know? It kind of drew it worse. This time, worse than before, but... I'm still happy because you know I drew, I stayed consistent, I, st I stayed committed, and that's what's most important here. Cool dude. Oh hell yeah. Cool as heck. <coughs> hell yeah, brother. Yeah. Let me just use the size of this. Be more. Damn. I mean, I almost feel like I'm proud with every piece. Not only because of that I stayed it committed and consistent, but also from the progress itself. Like. I mean, this looks pretty good to me. <laughs> this drawing. I'm pretty happy with it. Oh, man. But yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you for dropping by. It's really cool. Really chill of you. Based. Based decision. If you know what I mean. I mean, pretty sure you do know what you do know what I mean. Yeah, base decision. Really appreciate it. Eh. <laughs> <coughs> I'm drawing two at the moment. 
Nice. I've been drawing for the past two hours. Yeah, even though I've been streaming for three hours, at the beginning I was just like to... Uh, talk a little bit, you know, just vent. It's not vent, just talk about my day. And just in general, things that should, <laughs> should interest people, I don't know. If it interests people. I usually watch live streams, lives when I draw. Oh, that's cool. Draw along, long. Especially when you can interact because it's live, that's really cool. But yeah. Also this chibi, it's not looking very well, but hey. I j this is my first time and it was my only type that I ever drew chibi and I used the reference and I'm using that as my PNG tuber, a chibi version. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Of course, it's gonna be improved. I'm gonna need to improve its hair. God, I feel like there's something in my eye. Speaking of the devil. The heck? I'm going to get it out. I don't know, I'll get it out after this. <coughs> it's cute! Love the eyes, thank you. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, I didn't expect it to turn out this well for my first time. But I guess, hey. Fundamentals help, you know, just quite a lot. So I'm pretty happy. Yeah, it's pretty good. I love it a lot too. I just need to improve the hair and I'll be set. And maybe fix the, like, the head a little bit because it's... I don't know, it's kind of weird. The top part. Like an egg. It looks like an egg head. With some hair plastic on top of it. Oh my god, it feels like there's a... Maybe I'm just tired. No, it's not that bad. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, it's pretty good. I mean, yeah, it's it's decent. It's decent. It's not bad, but it's not good. It's okay, as they say. <coughs> but yeah. I think I'm gonna need uh, gonna need to wrap up the stream. I've been streaming for three hours. The daylight savings begin today, and I need to wake up in three hours for work. And yeah, and tomorrow I'm going to be watching a coloring tutorial for the first time, and I really, really hope it's gonna help me learn <coughs> the proper colors. Uh to use how to use the proper colors how to do the skin different shades of skin so it looks like it's a little bit more alive like the, the character has more soul to it and yeah i'm pre pretty excited finally learned to color yeah three hours of sleep uh, it's fine i'm used to it i i uh i i get my my uh my full rest, a <laughs> full sleep. <laughs> oh god, I'm dying. Yeah, co oh, color. Oh, I love coloring, is my favorite part. It's so fun. Oh man, but yeah, the, this is why I can't wait. Day 27. I have only three more days left to, to, to do 
to learn before I do my final piece for day 30. <laughs> and then... Curious to see what you get from the tutorials. Oh yeah. <laughs> I remember. James Gurney. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry. Sorry, pardon. Sorry, pardon. Excuse me. Are you showing your progress on any social media? Uh, yeah, actually. On Twitter? But not every time I stream. Not every, not, not every time. Drink water. Yeah, I'll drink in a minute. Yeah. I'm gonna need to wash my eye. Uh, yeah, so I still I only have one social media that's Twitter and that's only for the purposes of this VTuber channel. Like for like for yeah, for for, for my for myself for, as a VTuber. And that's it. But yeah, I did share my progress on Twitter some days. If, I'm not sure. Let me check how many times. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Yeah, I got 12 posts sharing my progress over three and a half weeks. But of course, I'm going to be uploading the time lapses again because people have been asking me to of all the streams. I'm just kind of I'm going to I'm just going to be uh, just cut all the yapping and you don't really hear me talking. It's just, you know, just chill background music and just purely be draw myself drawing and I cut out all these parts that I'm not doing anything and that's it. So it's literally just drawing like a speed speed drawing. People been asking, so I'm going to to provide and yeah i have all my live streams that showcase my progress <laughs> wait hold up Uh, did you check the time as feature from CSP? Yeah, I did. I still prefer the the one that I yeah, edit. I still prefer to edit because it also gives me some experience with the, the new software that I'm using and I need to learn. Get this stuff, editing stuff into muscle memory. Oh, can I check it out? I mean, just to see where I'll get with your work. Yeah, sure. You, are you talking about Twitter? Uh, yeah, it's. In, I think it's in my description. In the live stream description, if I'm not mistaken. It should be there. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's in the description. I even have all the... <laughs> I even have all the tutorials that I used to learn how to draw the hair. Yeah, they did reduce the size. I checked.
but yeah like i'm not always gonna like most of the times i'm gonna be posting my progress whatever i'm learning but sometimes i'm gonna be, but there's also gonna be times where i'm gonna be posting just i don't know maybe funny memes i don't know because i mean what kind of a vtuber doesn't post funny memes or relatable memes But yeah, <sighs> I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up now, so it's a bit, I, I wish I could have stayed more, you know, to chat and talk, you know, share our passion, talk about interesting stuff, but I have to go now because I don't have much sleep left and I need the energy tomorrow because I'm working for many hours. And then I have to work on my software engineering project. <laughs> you draw none of me. Oh, hell yeah. He's my second favorite. He's my second favorite character. He's not my first. My first is Toji. Even though he's a villain. I still like him. Like, he's still my number one. I think I told you, right? Yeah, I told you. But yeah, Nanami is like uh, number two for me. Damn. yeah yeah he's a pretty dope like i like his character development and stuff like he's insane especially in season two like like i'm not gonna spoil anything let's say let's say just when he manifests back hopefully that's a good enough hint so yeah, after that, that's like so badass. I don't know. I just, I just think he's like num he's like the number one character for me because it's just so freaking badass. <laughs> yeah, no spoilers. I don't know how many people are going to watch this in the future, but yeah, Nanami is freak hella cool. And yeah, I did draw Nanami. I love drawing him. I'm gonna draw him a lot more times in the future too. I'm gonna enjoy and I'm gonna enjoy that. Doing drawing him. I don't know, I just love drawing badasses. People who are badass, whether they're villains or or protagonists, or even support characters. This is the whole reason why I'm learning to draw, how to draw manhwa guys Instead of anime guys Cause anime guys, they're, they look like they're gonna snap like a twig Your generic isekai boy But when you draw the manhwa version, like the, the Korean Damn, those guys are pretty good LOL Yeah, <laughs> I mean that's the truth, what can you do? Yeah, that's why like Like I'm kinda like mixing it Like the girls, of course I'm gonna be drawing like manga, anime style Cause that's cute as heck <clears throat> But the guys Nah I'm gonna be drawing them as badass, as good looking as I can And that's gonna be in Korean style Here. So guys look badass and big and really good and the girls look hella cute and beautiful.
Overall, Jujutsu Kaisen has a unique style to it. It's not your generic anime style, it's completely different. One of my favorite artists is Korean too, she's got a balanced style, let me look her up. Okay. Yeah. Need to follow more good artists on the uh, artist blocking on Twitter. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. First, I'm gonna watch YouTube videos of time lapses of the of the good artists that draw what the style that I like of guys. And once I find the one that really draws the way I want to learn how to draw, then I'm gonna follow them on Twitter. Second season, yeah, they went crazy with the character. Yeah, hell yeah. Second season was the best season. I mean, it was the best because not of, or not only because of the action, but also because you don't get a lot of anime that the storyline goes like that. A lot, like there's a lot of characters that get, that get like, um. Plot, uh, plot armor you know what i mean you know what i mean so nothing can happen ever but in jujutsu kaisen like that there's like not a not, not a lot of, not a lot of anime that don't provide plot armor to almost no character Except for the main protagonist, I mean, obviously. I mean, what's the point of this series if the main protagonist is gonna die? So yeah. Like, this, that's not a good story. Like, yeah, there is a good story. Like, there's a lot of, there's a few exceptions, but these are like RL movies. That have insane plot. But yeah. Usually, like, it's it's common that the main protagonist, nothing happens to him. But it's also very common that nothing happens to most of the characters. I don't like this kind of, uh, like, theme, repeated theme, nothing happens to him. And it's just, everyone, hey, you know, like, sunshine and rainbows, yay. So yeah, I'd say, like, Jujutsu Kaisen is, like unique in this in this way that it doesn't follow the same theme that most anime do and not only that it also has a unique art style which makes it even better and not in third the animation is top-notch quality but that's but that's only because the studio is a bunch of assholes i mean the 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 the, the ceo Taking all the money and is way making his workers, his animators work like slaves. <clears throat> my third, my thirds are Mika Picasso. As oh, I'm gonna butcher this name if I read that. As as askize askizia askizia as askzi askzia askzia. I don't know. Askzia. Askzia. Or maybe it's like Ash. Uh, I don't know. But they mostly draw. <clears throat> they mostly draw girls. Yeah. <laughs> they call her just ask. I guess. <laughs> yeah. Ah, just uh, oh, ask the color. Ask, ask Zia. Ask. Lol. True. There were there were a bunch of things that I didn't see. Come. Oh hell yeah. I mean yeah. I also didn't see one thing coming. I did. I didn't see one thing coming. That really took me by surprise.
<laughs> but anyway, yeah, I gotta wrap it up. Yeah, I really have to go. I still need to. I still have some things I need to do before I go to sleep. Like, oh, I was planning on fixing my code before. Whatever. I don't have much time to sleep. So I'm gonna do it tomorrow. Okay. So yeah, it was nice talking. I really hope I'll see you. I'll see you all. See you both and everyone else. Mealy Z and Wisp. Next live stream. Thank you so much for dropping by. Like it was really nice chat chatting with you. Thank you so much. Hope to see you next time. I hope you have a good night. Wherever you are, fine. Good good day. And have fun. And have fun drawing. Or whatever you do. And most importantly, most importantly, take care. Take care of yourself. And yeah, hope, I hope to see you next time. And if you enjoyed this stream, why not consider dropping a like? And maybe even subscribe. So everyone else can find the same, find this stream and have just as much fun. <coughs> and on this good note, I'm gonna end it here. So yeah, take care and goodbye. See you next time. Or whatever I make. Bye-bye.